हेलो एवरीवन इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट प्रोडक्शन प्लानिंग सो लेट स्टार्ट द वीडियो प्रोडक्शन प्लानिंग एंड कंट्रोल व्हाट यू मीन बाय दिस व्हाट आर द वेरियस स्टेप्स व्हाट इज द कांसेप्ट ऑफ प्रोडक्शन प्लानिंग राइट सो द वेरी फर्स्ट इज प्रोडक्शन प्लानिंग एंड देन सो प्रोडक्शन प्लानिंग इट इज जस्ट एग्जैक्टली प्लान योर वर्क इट लेस डाउन द फाउंडेशन ऑफ द प्रोडक्शन व्हिच ट्रांसलेट्स सेल्स फोरकास्ट इनटू प्रोडक्शन प्लान्स हम सेल्स फोरकास्ट को प्रोडक्शन प्लान्स में कन्वर्ट करने हैं से फॉर एग्जांपल मुझे एट द एंड ऑफ द ईयर आई नीड टू प्रोड्यूस 10000 यूनिट्स ऑफ प्रोडक्ट एक्स सो व्हाट आर माय प्रोडक्ट प्रोडक्शन प्लान्स दैट विल बी टेकिंग केयर इनटू दिस पर्टिकुलर प्रोडक्शन प्लानिंग कितना रॉ मटेरियल चाहिए होगा अगर एक साल में एट द एंड ऑफ द ईयर आई नीड टू गो फॉर 12000 10000 यूनिट्स तो मुझे हर महीने फोर्थ नाइटली बेसिस पर आफ्टर एवरी क्वार्टर आफ्टर एवरी वीक हाउ मेनी यूनिट्स आई नीड टू प्रोड्यूस दैट वी मीन बाय दिस पर्टिकुलर लाइन राइट इट इज जस्ट द थिंकिंग फेज ऑफ द प्रोडक्शन प्रोसेस नो एग्जीक्यूशन ऑफ द वर्क इज बीइंग कैरीड आउट ओनली वी आर डूइंग प्लानिंग वी आर प्लानिंग एक्चुअली वी आर जस्ट डूइंग दिस इज द थिंकिंग फेज ओनली राइट विच मीन्स वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू डू इन दिस वी आर गोइंग टू डिसाइड द एक्शन दैट वी आर गोइंग टू टेक इन द नियर फ्यूचर उनको अभी हम एडवांस में डिस्कस कर रहे हैं एंड दीज थिंग्स इंक्लूड व्हाट वी आर गोइंग टू प्रोड्यूस व्हेन वी आर गोइंग टू प्रोड्यूस वेयर वी आर गोइंग टू प्रोड्यूस एंड हाउ वी आर गोइंग टू प्रोड्यूस एज वी ऑलरेडी नो दैट प्लानिंग मींस डिसाइडिंग इन एडवांस व्हाट वी नीड टू डू इन द फ्यूचर व्हाट वी आर गोइंग टू डू इन द फ्यूचर दिस इज मीन बाय प्लानिंग तो सिंपली व्हेन यू आर डिसाइडिंग इन एडवांस द वेरियस production related activities what need to be produced when need to be produced where and how need to be produced how we are going to produce the uh, finished goods in advance then it is referred as the production planning we are foreseeing we try to foreseeing every step in the process of production in order to avoid all difficulties and inefficiencies that may arise when we are going to actually produce the items when we are going actually for the executing the production processes right so let's see the meaning of production planning it is the process of looking ahead we are going to plan for the future event and anticipating bottlenecks and identifying the steps necessary to ensure a smooth and uninterrupted flow of production what we mean by this that we are looking ahead and we are anticipating few of the challenges we are anticipating the hurdles कि जो भी परेशानियां आगे हमारी प्रोडक्शन प्रोसेस में आ सकती हैं वेन वी आर गोइंग टू फाइंड आउट द आंसर ऑफ वॉट नीड टू बी प्रोड्यूस हाउ नीड हाउ इट इज हाउ वी आर गोइंग टू प्रोड्यूस वेन इट इज रिक्वायर्ड वेन वी आर गोइंग टू प्रोड्यूस एंड वेन यू आर प्रोवाइडिंग आंसर्स टू ऑल दीज क्वेश्चन वंस द आइडेंटिफिकेशन पार्ट विल गेट ओवर वी आर गोइंग टू दीरियस स्टेप्स विच आर नेसेसरी टू एंश्योर ए स्मूथ एंड अन इंटरप्रेड फ्लो ऑफ ऑफ production this is just a bit technical language i am using here production planning determines the requirement of material machinery jitne bhi hamare factors of production hote hain when we are talking about the material machinery main power unke requirement ke bare mein pata karna determining the requirement of various ends that is estimating the various requirement of material main power machinery money and establishes the exact sequence and lays down the time schedule for its completion so there are three things which are important here the first one is the estimation of the various resources determining the various requirement of resources raw material machinery manpower unke beech mein sequence develop karna right and the third one is time table time scheduling for its completion when we are going to produce at what time we are going to complete with the production facilities production of the required raw materials and finished goods right so it actually starts with the process production planning there are four different phases the very first one is estimating the second one is routing the third one is scheduling and fourth one is loading so i'll give a brief idea about in this particular slide then we'll be moving in detail what i mean by estimating routing scheduling uh, loading actually right so estimating means estimating the requirements of different ends here why what we mean by ends is men money material how many we require actually then routing deciding the sequence of operation which operation will be coming first 
followed by which particular operation say for example if we are a short manufacturing concern washing of the cloth will be done at first then drying will be conducted at second phase then cutting of the raw piece of cloth then stitching then finally finishing and then packing so what we are going to do in the routine is we are going to decide the sequence of operation as per their order right and third one is the scheduling scheduling means making the timetable at what time when we are going to start what will be the earliest date what will be the earliest time we are going to start how many minutes how many hours how many days this particular task will take care this particular task will be done in that particular time kab start hoga kab complete ho jayega so making the timetable in that case and fourth is the loading loading means issuing the order for work or assigning what we are doing we are just managing the how many people how many workforce is required how many machines are required how many how much resources are required aur fir kisko kis machine ka in charge banana hai load distribute karna hai actually which means which men which machine is responsible for which particular type of operation which men is responsible for which particular machine so under loading over loading na ho koi hum isko plan karte hain we are not distributing we are not कम्युनिकेटिंग इट टू दी हमारे एम्प्लॉयज हैं हमारे वर्कर्स हैं अभी हम उनको कम्युनिकेट नहीं कर रहे हैं अभी हम केवल प्लान कर रहे हैं राइट सो दीज फोर थिंग्स कम्स इन टू प्रोडक्शन प्लानिंग सो वी आर स्टार्टिंग दी फर्स्ट वन दैट इज एस्टिमेटिंग एस्टिमेटिंग एक्चुअली डिपेंड्स अपॉन थ्री फैक्टर्स वन इज द डिमांड फोरकास्ट हाउ मच वी आर गोइंग टू सेल इन दी मार्केट हाउ मच डिमांड इज देयर इन दी मार्केट दैट वी विल बी टेकिंग इन टू कंसिडरेशन सेकेंड वन इज योर ऑर्डर इन एंड how much orders in hand we are having from our existing customer or known customers so there are two things kitne orders hamare haath mein hain say for example 100 units abhi hamare paas hain and second one is 500 already hum market mein sell kar sakte hain demand demand hai market mein so total order we will be having is 500 for demand in the market and 100 orders as we have from the existing customers right total becomes 600 now Third and the most important is production capacity. But मेरे पास जो प्लांट है मेरे पास जो प्रोडक्शन रिक्वायरमेंट है मेरे पास जो प्रोडक्शन सिस्टम है अथॉरिटी और इकोनॉमीज और लार्ज स्केल ऑफ प्रोडक्शन के अकॉर्डिंग मैं मैक्सिमम फाइव हंड्रेड कैपेसिटी ही प्रोड्यूस कर सकता हूँ मैं आई कैन नॉट गो फॉर सिक्स हंड्रेड If I am going for 600, what does it mean? Pura capacity utilize करने के बाद भी I can only go with 500. If I am going for next 100 units, so I need to set up a new plant or new machine. I need to purchase. Therefore, the third production capacity becomes important. दो मेरे पास demand ज़्यादा हो सकती है, orders ज़्यादा हो सकते हैं, hardly matters. In that case, in the third point, now I need to decide कि क्या मुझे second plant या production capacity के लिए I should be going for और if I will not be going for because of economies of large scale of production क्योंकि जैसे ही मैं नया plant set up करूँगा मेरी cost बढ़ जाएगी so economies of large scale of production talks about taking into consideration the production capacity so I'll be restricting myself to producing only 500 units this just for an example. these three things will determine the estimated production in quantity may total at the end of the year total at the end of the production jo hum in hum na decide kiya hai usme how many quantities we are going to produce similarly jitni meri finished goods ki quantity hogi that will determine the requirement jo estimation hoga mera mere material ka labor ka machines ka money ka funds ka for everything that will be determined by these three factors demand in the market orders from the existing customer production capacity that i am utilizing that will define that will determine the material requirement labor requirement and machine requirement as a whole right second is routine which means routine is the process of determining the operations to be performed and their sequence so, so it determines what work will be done where and how it will be done it will decide kon kon se operations hame karne hain 
कैसे होंगे वो असेंबली लाइन के थ्रू होंगे या इंटरमीडियट प्रोडक्शन सिस्टम के थ्रू होंगे एंड हाउ इट विल बी कैरिड आउट राइट रूटिंग इज द सिलेक्शन ऑफ पाथ और रूट ओवर विच एवरी पीस इट ट्रेवल इन बींग ट्रांसफोर्ड फ्रॉम रॉ मटीरियल टू फिनिश रूट किसी भी रॉ मटीरियल को फिनिश रूट में कन्वर्ट होने में वॉट आर दीरियस ऑपरेशन दैट आर रिक्वायर्ड किस पाथ को वो फॉलो करेंगे कितने सिक्वेंसिंग हुए दैट विल बी डिटरमाइंड अंडर रूटिंग राइट generally these activities are performed in routing say for example determination of the operations required kitne operations hone hain unka sequence kya hoga what will be their sequence lot size kya rahega deciding scrap preparing the route sheet job cards labor cards inspection card etc ye bhi routing ke andar hi jata hai that is all the various activities which are being carried out under the routing process right third point is the scheduling scheduling simply means the preparation of the timetable preparation of the timetable is again divided into two major parts two major things the first one is why we are going for it it is just to know the total time of a product which will take raw material say finished product mein convert hone mein ek uh, puri conversion process puri transformation process aur pura production process ko how much time it will be taking for a single unit first case and second one is to know the time taken by each activity से फॉर एग्जाम्पल जो कटिंग वाला एग्जाम्पल अभी हमने देखा है कि वॉशिंग में कितना टाइम लग रहा है ड्राइंग में कितना टाइम लग रहा है एवरी इंडिविजुअल एक्टिविटी इज टेकिंग हाउ मच टाइम दैट विल बी डिटरमाइन अंडर स्केड्यूलिंग सो दैट वी कैन कम अप विद द टोटल टाइम रिक्वायर्ड बाय द डिफरेंट नंबर ऑफ ऑपरेशन राइट इन्वॉल्व फिक्सिंग प्रायोरिटीज एंड डिसाइडिंग स्टार्टिंग एंड फिनिशिंग टाइम ऑफ ईच एक्टिविटी एंड सो दैट वी कैन कंपाइल हाउ मच टाइम विल बी रिक्वायर्ड टू कन्वर्ट अ रॉ मटीरियल इन टू finished goods now this point is very important which means whenever we are going to prepare schedules uh, schedule types so type of order and the delivery dates are considered kyun kyunki uh, delivery agar timely nahi hogi if we are not able to finish up with our production as per the dates of the delivery there is no benefit out of it right these are the various types of schedule the first one is the master schedule it is the overall production program of the plant it can be in the form of week it can be in the form of month or it can be quarterly half yearly or yearly breakups again on the basis of sales forecast orders in hand same thing market mein demand kitna hai orders abhi hamare hath mein kitna hai usi ko hum weekly monthly quarterly just time if we are going to have 12000 units as finished goods in the entire year so in monthly it can be 1000 per month we are going to produce so it's a master plan right the second one is your departmental schedule which means the fixes the time period within which a work is to be finished by a particular department a particular individual department is going to complete this transaction in order to avoid dependency so one department one work is going to finish then only it can be transferred to the second department and third one is the daily operation schedule which means it indicates the time required to perform each detailed operation on each job in each department now this is also known as microscopic the fourth point is the loading which means assignment of specific jobs to specific machine who will be responsible for which operation which machine will be under observation of whom and who will be supervising that that we are going to decide in the loading for the purpose of completing each job by the specified date right it is the initiation of converting planning into practice till the time we have not assigned any duties to anyone we are just only planning scheduling gives the estimated dates it will define it will determine the time period by this particular time period we are going to complete the entire production of x units is required whereas the loading phase those dates that whether we will be able to go for it or not loading includes various steps which means finding out availability of various machines how many machines we have with us identifying the earliest date when the required hours can be utilized on given machine those machines can be required early as early as possible hum apna we can start with the production determining which operations to be assigned to which man and machine so that in case what will happen if we are not going to uh, perform this loading so there can be n number of employees say for example 10 employees are there and five machines are there so ascertain that two men are required at every machine similarly 
if we are if there is a requirement of one man per machine so we'll be leaving we'll be left with five people who are remaining idle for the entire time duration so the men are under utilized five people can be given another task to complete the execution process right so this particular loading process will determine the idleness of man and machinery so it will define the under loading and overloading concept right now by this we are completing the production planning as a whole